Hello everyone, Mr. Merkid here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to edit a message which you've been sent by the tool. Uh, this only works if you sent the message using the button, because we've got to set it up to uh, actually read that sort of message. This won't work for messages that have been sent outside of the tool, uh, so that's pretty much what I'm trying to say here. Um, so let me show you what I mean. To get started, uh, we're actually going to need a button to send the message. So I'll quickly add that in and we go into want to get a text box in order to tell it a username. So inside this button uh, we basically want to create a uh, sort of something that can access the chat and get our message. So we can call this our message and that is going to be as a skype lib dot chat message and that is going to be equal to actually the message so skype dot send message inside here we have to give it the username which will be the name of our text box here which is 33 text box 33 dot text and then we have to give it a message we could use a text box for this but I'll just put it in here in, in a string te text right so that is our message so what this enables us to do is it will send the message but we'll be able to access it because uh, we'll be able to access it through our message because we've made it as a chat message and stuff so underneath here what we want to do is say if our message and we need to we're going to access the body property because um, the body is the whole message as a whole but there's a lot of other things in here that you could uh, have a look through and test for your own use but for the purpose of this we're going to be using the body um, so if the body is equal to um, text because that's what our message is we want to do something so what we want to do is just delete the message so our message dot body is going to be equal to nothing uh, the thing is, this this will happen instantly because there's no pause in between. So we want to we want to put a pause so you get the effect and stuff. So I'm just going to put the thread to sleep. If you watched my um, previous videos, you'll know that this is really not the best way to do this. But for the purpose of this and showing you the example, uh, this is the way I'll be showing you. But you want to do the wait function like I uh, told you about previously. Uh, so while this is loading, uh, you'll see I've been messing around with this earlier on because I was making another video but I actually failed. Um, so I want to send the message to uh, this this bot here, my other account, so I don't have to pester anybody. Um, so I'll send the message and it's going to be text and after a second it was going to delete. So we can send that and you can see it got removed. Uh, I'll do it again. So after a second it gets removed. Uh, so basically what this enables you to do is if you've seen those tools which they actually delete, you've got the option to delete all your previous message, uh, you can do it this way so you, but you'd have to send the message via the tool um, so maybe if you don't want someone seeing your message. Uh, you can also create animations out of this um, so what I mean is so as you can see our message is text uh, so if it was text we could equal it to T E X and then if it's equal to T E X it will be equal to T E and so on so you'll know it will create the animation of spelling text in the chat uh, but I'll leave that to you and you can mess around with this yourself but remember that you need to add in pauses each time so you, it gets the effect otherwise it's gonna happen instantly and you won't see the effect at all uh, so yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. You can you can do many things. You can equal it to group messages, uh, all sorts of things um, that you can do with this. So I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you got the basic understanding of how to edit messages and remove them. And if you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time.